How's it going guys? This is Ryan De La Garza here and today I'm going to try something different where we're going to do a Desmos build along. So I'm going to go through some computation layer work on an activity and in the link in the description below you can jump into the activity and the first screen is set up so you can build along with me. So what I found in my CL work is that the best way to learn and get better at it is just to do it. So you'll be able to follow along with me, uh, check what you're doing along the way and see if you can get it to work like I have here on the screen. So we'll try it out. This is gonna be the first one I do like this, so you'll have to let me know uh, how it goes. But what we're covering in this one is the evaluate at function. So um, Atilano Rodriguez on the Facebook group had was having some trouble with uh, an activity like this where he was trying to find the different quotient and he wanted students to simplify the expression but if they reordered the, the expression in different ways like 5x plus y and they did y plus 5x it wasn't counting it correct because he was using a latex check which is essentially saying I'm gonna match the input what's in there like text for text uh, and that's just a sticky thing to do in Desmos um, so with the evaluate function we can do this much more cleanly and much more accurately so I'm going to show you real quick what he was working with so originally his CL was looking like this right so the idea is there right I want this to be correct when uh, this LaTeX let me zoom in on this so I want this to be correct when this latex, that means the, the input, the math type that's put into the equation is equal to this. So he had spelled it out, everything was there. But the problem is if any of these chunks of variables or chunks of the expression were in a different location, it was coming off as wrong. And so that's not what we wanted to happen. So what we ended up doing is switching to something like this, where we created functions and we had the computation layer essentially evaluate those functions and say if they come up with the same answer then it's going to be correct and so that lets you shift things around much smoother I know this may look a little tricky but I'm gonna put down I live in the middle school world so we're gonna do with some combining like terms for our example so let's jump into the activity that I have here if you want to jump in and follow along with us uh, again the link is in the description to jump into this activity and you can build along here on slide one or screen one so here what I want students to do is we have this expression and I want them to simplify it. We're going to be distributing and then combining the like terms. So if I wanted to do this similar, and let me just show you what we originally had. So if I wanted to say that this is correct when this input, so I can use the this function saying just this math input, when the latex is equal to uh, I'm going to put this parenthesis 5x plus 5y because I know that's the final solution. So if I preview this and if I come in here and I do 5x plus 5y, great, I get a check mark, perfectly fine. But if I do 5y plus 5x, which is technically still true, I now have an incorrect answer. So it's, it's saying it has to be exact, right? Also, if I throw times in there, still correct, but it's telling me it's wrong. So we wanna come up with a more accurate solution to this. So here's where we're gonna get in and do our, uh, our function. So what we're gonna to need to do first is we're gonna set the correct function up first. So I'm gonna say C equals simple function, uh, and I'm gonna put, um, hold on one second, mine's blanking on me. Ah, here we go. Uh, I'm going to put my answer. So the same thing I had before, 5x plus 5y. And then what I need to do as well is I need to define the variables that I'm going to use. x, comma, y, right here. So what this is essentially doing, so let me zoom in on this. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a function in the computation layer, and the function is going to be 5x plus 5y. And what I'm saying here is the variables I'm going to use are x, and why. So I'm going to be able to tell you when I call up this function, I'm going to be able to tell you the x variable I want you to put in and the y variable I want you to put in. So that's what we did here in this first piece. So that's our correct function. So now let's make our user function. So I'm going to do u because that's the user's function. Again, we're going to pull our simple function, but this time we're just going to say this dot latex. So now this is where we're saying I want to make a function out of whatever they put in the math input. And again, I, since I have two variables, I need to do the same thing with comma x and comma y. 
and those have to be in quotations so that I know that's the kind of text variable that I'm putting into my function, okay? So these are my functions set up now. So now I want to actually, uh, I want to actually run them, and this is gonna be my test. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's do the correct one first. So I'm gonna do uh, C, so I call up that function by putting its name, C, evaluate at, and then I'm gonna put two, three. You can pick any two numbers. So essentially I'm saying I want two to be the X and three to be the Y. And then let's go ahead, we're gonna put the U one in and we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna do U dot evaluate at two comma three. So let me zoom in here. Okay, so what we're doing here is I'm saying I want to create a variable C. I gotta peek around my camera to see this. So I wanna create a variable C and I want that value to be, I want you to take the function C and I want you to evaluate it when X is two and Y is three. So it's saying take that function, which we know is five X plus Y, put a two in for X, put a two in for Y, or put a three in for Y, and whatever that answer is, we're gonna set that equal to C. And we did the exact same thing with the function U. So I set a variable U for our user. I said that function U, evaluate that function with x is two and y is three, and whatever that answer comes out to be, we're gonna make that the variable u. So now I have those two numbers. So essentially I have the number with the equation that I put in is correct, and the number that the student's equation puts in, and we're gonna see if those match. So here now we do our correct, and we say if c equals u. So this is gonna be marked as correct, I'm gonna get my check mark if the value when our function equals the value of the student's function. So let's check it out and let's preview it to see if it works. 5x plus 5y, check mark. Doing good so far. But let's flip it up. Remember, this is where it broke before. 5y plus 5x, still a check mark, still looking good. What if I put multiplication in there? Boom, still good, right? If I throw some parentheses in there, Boom, still good, because we're evaluating it numerically as an expression. So now we have all these different ways that as long as they're doing something that is mathematically sound, it's gonna work out and it's gonna be good to go. So again, let me run you through just a quick recap on our computation layer code here. So we created a function named C, and we did that by making a simple function, and we defined that simple function as our answer, 5x, 5y. And then we told it we can put in an x and a y value into this function. And we did the same thing for the student's answer. We just used this LaTeX. We use the input that's gonna come in the math, the, uh, the math input, and that's gonna be or make their function. Then over here, we said, all right, I'm gonna create two variables, my correct variable and my user variable by plugging in the numbers two and three to both of those functions and seeing what they come out to be. And then here we said, if those numbers are the same, we're gonna mark it correct and we'll count it good to go. So that's how we can use our evaluate function to better check what's going on when students are putting things in. So you can use this for any type of expressions. You can put this in tables. Um, you can use this in a lot of different places, but anytime you want them to check an expression or see if something like that's right, this is gonna be the best way to do it. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any other questions or things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments or reach out and let me know. And thanks for watching and happy Desmosing.